Wait, you weren't Queen K tonight. That's right. Care Majesty is here. <laughs> well, congratulations on season three. What can fans expect? Because I know there's going to be a lot of drama. Yeah, we're doing big things. You know, it's it's bigger, bolder, and more exciting. I'm expanding my business. I, you know, started a wig line. I have, you know, amazing celebrity clients that are going to be on there. There's, um, you know, so I just saw Jonathan Anton, um, Gabrielle Union, Akon is going to be on there. Uh, we hired, speaking of Akon, we have more men this season because I hired a celebrity barber. Yeah, I got rid of one of my stylists and added, you know, a barber to the cast. Which was quite interesting because she's a celebrity barber, hadn't worked in a salon in years. So her trying to transition into that was a bit of a challenge. She didn't, you know, it wasn't as harmon harmonic as I would have liked it to be, but, you know, she definitely brought some great energy to the salon. Um, you know, I'm just excited, doing big things. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to relocate, you know, open up and expand my business. But, you know, my sister, you know, working with my family is interesting because she's not really on board with that. So there's a, we have a little, you know, tension comes little tension in between her and I because, you know, we're the opposites. And so I'm a risk taker. She's like, you need to pull it back. You're not ready. And anyway, you'll see that in the show. Um, you know, I remodeled the salon, did a great glam makeover to the salon. We always got something going on. And so it's, it's exciting. It's definitely drama. Good. I think it's. Just, you just more. I think one thing is that, you know, this is season three, so a lot of the things that happen over season two and season one come to a head in season three. So, definitely want to watch. A little explosive, but good though. It's good. Good though. You said a lot of men are now coming in. What do you see as the trend for a guy's hair? Um, you know, you know, there's a lot going on with men, but men, have, you know, they've been wearing this really cool, like, shaved side and this long top, you know, parted and combed. It kind of reminds me of like a bad 50s, 50s kind of boy, you know, without the pompadour, but just like slick and kind of greasy. Little 30s, little 50s, little retro, but modern. It's very cool. You see Lisa the Barber do some of the uh, haircut on a guy smoking. It's awesome. Yeah. I've seen it on like, Adam Levine and a couple other artists. It's, 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 it's a great looking haircut. You do Beyonce, Shakira, who, in your opinion, I know you do all their hair, but who has like the best hair, or who's your favorite? Gosh, they're all amazing. I mean, how can I choose? They're like all amazing women, but I think Beyonce is just the most versatile. I can really create and change her look up a lot, you know? I'm able to, to just do anything on her, and she looks fabulous. She makes me look good. <laughs> you know, I don't have to work that hard. And if you can create a song title, what would it be to your life? Hair is everything. <laughs> I guess that was obvious, but you know. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations. And I love, I love the tips.